was known for pasteurization. It is the use of heat to kill harmful organisms. Now in pasteurization, not all bacteria are killed in the milk. There are some heat resistant bacteria. That are called that are thermo duric bacteria. Now these type of bacteria will not cause milk spoilage in refrigerators. Now there is a test that can be done to see if dairy products have been pasteurized and it's called phosphatase test. Now phosphatase is in milk. So if it's pasteurized, the enzyme would have been inactivated. Now, Louis Pasteur was known for pasteurization. It's the use of heat to kill microbes. So first we have HTST. Now, what is that? It is high temperature. short time. Now you have a length of, well you have your temperature, which is 72 degrees. That's the temperature needed to kill microbes and a length of time needed is 15 seconds. Now with HTST, Pathogens are killed, it lowers the total bacteria count, and it helps keep milk when refrigerated. Our second one is UHT, and that is ultra high temperature. This one has a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius at four seconds. Okay, this is the study section of the video and we're going to start off with pasteurization. So this is how we can remember pasteurization and all of the um, necessary things that we need to know about pasteurization. Well, one, that it kills harmful organisms. So I'm going to use the I and put kill this will help me remember that in pasteurization, it kills harmful organisms. But remember, it doesn't kill all organisms. Now, there are some heat-resistant bacteria, so we're going to use the T in pasteurization, and it's called thermoduric bacteria. So in pasteurization, harmful organisms are killed using the I, but not all organisms are killed. We're going to use the T for thermoduric bacteria, and these are heat-resistant bacteria. So what test do you use in pasteurization? Well, we're going to use the P in pasteurization for phosphatase.
test. So we're going to recap. In pasteurization, harmful organisms are killed, but not all organisms are killed. There are some heat resistant bacteria called thermoduric bacteria that can survive. Now the test done in pasteurization is phosphatase. And this is pasteurization. Okay, this is the second part to pasteurization and it's going to cover the temperature needed to kill bacteria and the length of time that's needed to kill bacteria. I actually know what this stands for. So what it stands for is, like I said previously in the video, high temperature, short time. So you have to remember that. High You need a high temperature at a short amount of time. So what is the temperature and what is the time? It is 72 degrees Celsius at 15 seconds. Now how can you remember that? I would I always put things together. 72.15 Celsius seconds. 72.15. So if high temperature, short time is 72.15 Celsius and seconds. HTST, high temperature, short time, 72.15. Celsius seconds. Let's fill in the blank. So you have STST. What does it stand for? Well, you know it deals with temperature and time. So what is the H? High. Because you need high temperature, you need heat to kill bacteria. And S, a short amount of time. So you have a multiple choice and you have to pick which. Um, temperature and which time it is. Well, 72.15. 72, I was about to write 75. 72 degrees Celsius at 15 seconds. And that's, and that's HTST, high temperature, short time at 72.15. Here on the bottom we have ultra high temperature. Ultra and high. Ultra high temperature. So this one is 1404. 1404. Just remember that number. So it's 140. Because you know ultra is like high above. Hi, we're doing dealing with degrees Celsius. We need the time for seconds. So we have ultra U H high. You know that we're dealing with heat, so the temperature will have to be high. Ultra high temperature, 1,404. Break that down. 140 degrees Celsius at four seconds. Okay, remember, 72.15 for high temperature short time. 1,404 for ultra high temperature and this is how I remember the um, temperatures and times needed for pasteurization so in this part I am going to test your knowledge on pasteurization I want you to tell me what are the three key points that I discussed in my video about pasteurization
Okay, in this part of Test Your Knowledge of Pasteurization, I want you to give me the name of HTST. I want you to fill in the blank and give me the temperature and the time. And I also want you to do the same thing for UHT, fill in the blank, give me the temperature and the time. Hey my rockers, thanks for sitting with me in this video. I want to let you know before you go that I do have a microbiology study program. Now in this program I have study videos, which is the one that you just went through, and I also have the worksheets that go with this video. I also have 30 to 50 practice foundation questions for each chapter in your semester. I have fill in the blank outlines for each chapter of your semester and I also have test your knowledge interactive slides to help you um, in your class. I also have the Rock newsletter and in this newsletter it's a weekly newsletter where you get free one free chapter package of all of this. You have um, a free video worksheet so every week I'll send you the worksheets that go in my um, YouTube videos, um, words of encouragement. And so I also have check promo codes in my newsletter. So if you want to purchase any textbooks, rent any textbooks or ebooks, or even rent the ebooks, you can. Um, I have promo codes for that. If you want to try check tutors, which I'm also on because I am affiliate for checks. So if you want to. Um, sign up for checks right now I have a 25% off your first month if you are a new user for check studies and I do also have promo codes like I said um, for renting purchasing or getting ebooks so thanks again for hanging out with me in this video thanks for studying and caring about your education thank you thank you thank you and I will see you in the next video